episode of Monster Thoughts. Yeah, so thank you for coming on today to talk about hey, Freddy. Thank you for having me. Yes. And I know, t- I think today is like the anniversary of remake. The sixth year anniversary oh, is of it? the even... remake. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I, I honestly didn't even like the remake. Me neither. I didn't like his face. I thought his face was too strange. Yeah, too it looked... I, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, no, this isn't Freddy. It wasn't even Robert England, and that's like, he is... Yeah. That's, he's Freddy. Like, it's... Um, he, he, he's who makes Freddy. Yeah. I can't change my mind on that. And the guy who did it was like the guy who was Watchmen, right? And Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, uh... What was it? Uh, Rocharge? Or, no. Rorschach. Rorschach, yeah. I can't pronounce that. So what was your first experience with Freddy Krueger? Like, how did you get introduced? Oh, well, it's honestly through my mom. My mom and I, we we watched a lot of horror movies together when I was little. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's on her parenting, but we, uh, that was like our thing. So we we watched a lot of, it was Chucky. It was all her all the Freddy movies because she personally liked Freddy and Jason. Those were her top two. Just that first movie, when you hear that lullaby, I don't know, something about it, it just yes. like stuck in me. So I, I've always wanted to like, just keep watching it. And it was just like more interesting. And I just got more interested in like the other movies and even watching like, cause I'm very interested in special effects for makeup. So mm-hmm. even watching after like the DVDs, they would have behind the scenes. Yes. So even watching this Robert getting dressed up into Freddy, it was oh. really interesting. And it took a lot of time for all that makeup and all that burnt skin and everything. It was really interesting on how they did all that. So yeah, I would say I was probably like around 10 when I got interested or like around nine or 10 when I was interested, like got introduced to him. And then when I was about, I think 13, I read an article from Wes craven about how he actually created created freddy yeah how he actually made the monster and it was really interesting because he took different pieces from his life and also different like references and that like used all that just to make one monster Hmm. Uh, i found that really interesting because he um one of the pieces and i don't know if a lot of people know is like it was from his own memory from when he was a kid because um he had an experience when he was little that he looked out his window and he would be having nightmares and every time that he woke up there was a homeless man out on the street and he had like a raggedy sweater Mm -hmm. and so that's kind of like what drew the inspiration of that and um and he had like a weird look about him so he would always just kind of like use that inspiration for that man and then used all those different stories i think i read that that is interesting i swear i read that so i mean we already kind of got into it but like your favorite depiction of freddy krueger and why i, I love all of them honestly because they each are like a different depiction but i have to go with the original and freddy versus jason even though freddy versus jason is kind of like there's a lot of controversy with freddy versus jason what controversy um, especially between like between the two fandoms because you know, I mean, it's, well, That's you know, obviously, awesome. you know, Freddy versus Jason. Yeah, the horror, um, some of the things that I've seen, like, in the horror community is kind of crazy. Like, when, you know, you, you get into, like, the different monsters and who can beat who. And um, they've even mentioned about trying to have, like, a, like, which I'm I'm totally down for, like, a horror fighting game with all the horror monsters. Oh, my God, that um, would be amazing. That would be badass. They um, need to do that. But my depiction of, like, with Freddy versus Jason was they were trying to, I mean, it still is Robert England in that, which I love it. So I think they got the i think they got robert to do that and then i think they even had the original actor i forgot his name oh my god it's killing me right now um but who played for jason oh um, um, um it's like i'm todd? like it's right on my tongue it's not todd is it todd kane? yeah kane yeah, yeah, yeah. todd, todd kane. Some, something like that kane, kane hotter is it hotter somebody kane, kane, kane hotter was i think i think that was jason for a bit in some movie I think. yeah Does he well go they in? had they brought him back for that so i liked how they brought the him original back. people like yeah. You want to know something crazy? Um, when I first got, like, I, my my stepbrother told me about Freddy. And right when I got into Freddy and I started watching all the and everything, Freddy vs. Jason came out. And it was, like, the perfect, like, Oh, yeah. The like, perfect, like, introduction. Yeah, watch Yeah, it. no, I love that. Because that was honestly, like, um, I I felt really um awkward when Freddy vs. Jason came out. Because a lot of my friends didn't, were, like, not hardcore into horror movies like I was. Because I got you know started from when i was little because my mom when freddy versus jason came out i was kind of like really geeking out because he you know was coming out and you know people were that was a lot of my friends also like first time seeing freddy and i was like yes see it with me like <laughs> see what he's about he's so funny <laughs> and so all right so getting down to his powers do you think his powers were interesting like entering dreams you know that his powers were a way for him to get revenge on 
parents who yeah. actually murdered him. So with this in mind, how effective do you think him being this boogeyman was to his legend? Oh, I, I really find his powers interesting because being the kind of dream demon that he is and just like with the whole type of lore of dream demons, like he's like probably one of the top kind of like dream demons from just a lot of like, you know, he's using that fear of you even people even just wanting to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. You know, that in itself is scary because it's like, fuck, I don't want to sleep. Why? Because this fucking guy is going to come and kill me. Yeah. So it's like moral. It's like multiple fears all into one. So he gets the like he gets like the up on that. And that also plays in, I feel, a big part in how to defeat him because if you don't have that fear of him coming to you in the dream, you don't have that fear of falling asleep, what harm is he to do to you? But I know in the movie there was like uh, you know, the parents were, you know, they didn't want to talk about him. I wanna say almost like it's almost I mean it's the forbidden word you don't say, like Beetlejuice or he who shall not be uh, named. Like Voldemort, like yeah. yeah, like you don't name him because that gives him power also because then you know that leads to wanting to find out about him. You start thinking about him. And then you're scared of him thoughts, and then you fears. can't stop being yeah. you can't stop thinking about what you're Oh, yeah, okay. plays a part in him being like a boogeyman. And so that that leads me to my next question. Do you think not needing to be scared of him anymore, like like the creature it, is the good way to end a threat? Like, do you think there's another way that people could stop like tyranny? I think so, and I think that's why like with the first, the very first few movies, it was heavily on that. Like, you know, the parents were really trying to be hush hush, but you know, the kids, you know, how kids are gonna do their shit, they're gonna get into it, they're gonna open shit up. Yeah, <laughs> parents are just trying to look out for them, you know. But you know, we don't know mm -hmm. better when we're teens and shit we're just trying to get into no, we don't. whatever we're trying to do and so i feel like you know that can definitely play a part but then you know the, the adults too in some of those movies they weren't even helping either you know like that mom i feel like with nancy like she was a drunk um but i mean she just i don't know it, it was crazy there's so many things i could talk about <laughs> i'm sorry it's just um but I, I, I feel like it's the same thing, like with it. And I feel like that's kind of like where he got the inspiration. Like they, Stephen King and Wes Craven kind of got the inspiration off of each other. Because it and Freddy came out like around the same time, like with his books and stuff. I don't know. I think I read something that one of them got the inspiration off the other. But the whole feeding off the fear and being able to not be scared of each other like that. Mm -hmm. So do you think there's any another effective way to like stop him? Like, do you think there's another way besides like not just not just not being scared of him? Um, I know in the later movies. I know, yeah, there was. In the later movie, there was a way and that was through his daughter. Yeah, had um, a daughter. But honestly, vaguely yeah, remembering. I'm it vaguely was, remembering this. Yeah, it's a long time ago. I'm trying like vaguely, I know he had a daughter and, and like they defeated him through her, but I'm not exactly like, Cause it's been like years i think it's been like probably eight years since i've seen that last one like mm -hmm. the final one but they basically his daughter had to kill him and that was how he had to like he died oh. they ended his legacy i think i remember that so so his daughter his family had to be the one to do it so, i mean that's okay that's one way then so we are talking about freddy versus jason you loved it right yeah <laughs> okay but like can you go a bit more into why you liked it like was it the showdown of the two like most famous? It was the showdown. It was also because um, I, I too, I love Jason. So just the whole, it really, I, I geeked out more so because it was just my two favorite killers, I guess, just fighting it out. Mm -hmm. And me just like, you know, I wanted to keep seeing the fight. You know, I didn't feel like there was enough fight between them. Oh, there never is. The there never is. Yeah, just, there, just... Was, there wasn't really. It was more of like, you know, them killing, you know, the other the teenagers, people. getting them out of yeah, the way, the and they have the battle at the end. But and, that's what I feel like they do you know. with all the versus movies, like Godzilla and, um... Oh, they the, do, they, yeah. they never really fought, it was like the human problem, um, and it was just like, no, nah, let them, put them in a room, and just let them go at it. Like, what are you... Exactly. Why, yeah, why, what are you doing? Like, from start to finish, from start yeah. to finish. Let's it, should <laughs> it should be a two-hour... It should be a two-hour brawl. <laughs> yeah. If you see the whole fight in the trailer, there's no yeah. point in seeing the yeah, movie. You see exactly. the whole fight in the trailer. I often wonder why, like, they have to add like that human element. I I think it's because like they want us to relate to someone, but it's like no, we like like for um yeah for the King Kong and um I'm say Dracula. Look at my brain is the the King Kong and Godzilla <laughs> movie. Like I'm like I don't want to see these humans' problems. Like let me see two exactly. two monsters fighting. Like. That's why I think Pacific Rim had it had it right because uh, it was just us and Max fighting these monsters, and that was what yeah. I paid to see. Like that's what I want to see is just uh, like the monsters fighting. Like what do you? And that's stop. where I'm liking this idea of like these monsters having their own fighting game. Does that would them be that amazing. Can you imagine like Freddy and Chucky? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. In the game, 
goodness gracious. Even having Pinhead. Oh, that'd be good. There's so many, yeah. like, there's so many monsters they could add. I don't know why they don't do that. They should Candy do that. Man. Oh, God, that'd be awesome. Yeah. They should do that. So do you think with the right conditions, like, Freddy could really end Jason? I definitely think so. How so? I'm, that's because I'm, I'm kind of more biased when it comes to, like, I love equal, I love, I'm not going to say equally, because I do, I like them all, but being a dream demon and... I don't know what the hell Jason is. Like, they never really confirmed. Like, he's just, I don't know. I still say he's like some sort of like entity or demon, whatever, but he just doesn't die. Mm -hmm. But even in the first movie, like, he he was never really the killer. It was his mom. It was his mom. Yeah. Um, his mom's like yeah. pushing him on. Yeah. Oh, wait. Didn't, um, didn't Freddy like tap into that in the movie? And he was like, yeah, pretending... he played with his emotions on that. Yeah. yeah. He was pretending, pretending to be the mom. But um, that's what I'm saying. I, I feel like that's why I feel like Freddy could like, fuck you up because like, yeah, he can just get inside your head and like he knows everything about you pretty much so like i don't because know because when man. you're in your dreams your dreams are basically like everything that you've gone through it's it's your, your subconscious your yeah head, you know? yeah you can see pretty much everything your fears your dreams your hopes what you love what you don't love mm -hmm. that's scary in itself knowing what you can see because he knows he probably knows people better than they know themselves yeah oh can we talk about how he became freddy like his like what is that Oh yeah, his background story. Yeah, his background story because yeah, yeah. I know they kind of did change it a little bit from the original movie versus like the remake. Because with the remake, it was more of like they were making him be more of like a pedophile. Where I know in the original, they didn't really mention anything about that. They were just mentioning that he was just killing kids and just kidnapping them. Mm -hmm. In the remake, it was more of like he was like a, a janitor or something at a preschool or at oh. some some sort of school and just doing things to kids so that was oh. that was one of the differences and so all the the town came to protect the children so that's where all that came from but and in the original is just all the parents of the kidnapped kids came and killed him yeah yeah i don't, I don't um, know why they thought to add that in. I, I didn't know why they added that either i thought that was kind of weird i know in like the fandom of like with freddie a lot of uh, some people a lot of people didn't kind of like that because they're like why do you have to add the pedophile part to it mm -hmm. you know it's kind of like that's weird in itself but whatever yeah i feel like that's like it's kind of weird because when they how they took him to that warehouse just to burn him and all that stuff and they killed him it's interesting because you would think like just a regular person like they're gonna die but him becoming a dream demon you know usually how they say like you know movies or stories and depictions of demons and how they come about it's usually like by like a horrible death you know so it kind of makes mm -hmm. sense why he would become like a dream demon because he's coming to haunt all of them because of just how he was you know just burned alive from their fear of him because of him trying to take their kids so it makes sense of him going after their kids and their kids kids and third generations can't remember if they explained it but you probably would know his like power like how, how did he go from being burned alive to what he is now like the whole dream demon how did that like was um, he was it just like a, a vengeance like a revenge thing to get back to get back at the parents it was more of like a revenge thing because he he wanted to continue doing what he was doing so his parent the, all those parents and them trying to stop him he wanted to get revenge on them and his, the best way on that was to also continue going through their children. And it was just that town specifically because the town did aim to kill him. Like the police hid, mm -hmm. uh, like covered it up and everything. They didn't really want to do anything about it. So that's kind of why he also kind of just cursed the entire town. He wanted to just he cursed all, you know, he basically. cursed the yeah. town. I'm like it's, yeah, because he, he still reverts to the town because because there's. There's like a time like where I think in one of the movies it takes place out of Springwood, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that's like where his daughter like she has to go back in order to kill him because that's yes yeah, he's like he's cursed to that town. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna move to questions and comments. If anybody has any questions for either of us, please let us know. The scream killer would kill, but at first dry fear. Yeah, he did. Super curly one. But the scream killer yeah. was just like, it's just someone in, um, what's her face's life. It was one of their friends. Yeah, it's yeah. all, it was, sh sh they were always one of the friends. What would you like to see from a new F13, Friday 13th movie? Honestly, I love Wes and RIP because like, I like cried when he died. Um, and if he i'm kind of like really biased i'm kind of like if i don't really want to remake or like any kind of new freddies i'm kind of like content with where it's at now um especially if he's not a part to like be on the production team or write anything mm -hmm. um because he his like even when he appeared in the final freddy because they was all you know bringing the original cast in and they were trying to make it seem like they're making a movie and stuff so yeah yeah i just i don't know because the remake 
for me too, like that just killed me. I didn't, I didn't really like that. So I just, yeah. I wouldn't mind if they did it like in like a memoriam to like how he would have made it or like made like an another Freddy if he was yeah. planning another one. But I know he was also pretty much done with what he was happy with how he left Freddy. Yeah, because you can't continue a franchise like that yeah. for too long before it starts to get like really. Because he appeared even in his in, in his last one, like he appeared in the last one, so it's like he was also pretty much done with it. Yeah, I think I remember that one. The remake sucked. Yes, it did. Rob, <laughs> yeah, Rob will always be Freddy. He will. It's always Freddy. What if they made a Japanese samurai Jason movie? Oh my god. Like Batman? That would- With a katana instead of like a machete? But what would he do? He would like- He would go to a camp and like kill the campers? Cause like his whole thing is killing campers cause of his mom. So- yeah. The that Friday 13th lost- lost like, so much. Yeah, I mean that's another thing like with them trying to make the, the game. That game you're talking about. Oh yeah. They would have like to- fighting. They would have to get the- the- um support from every everybody and i do not see that happening unfortunately yeah because everybody's holding on to their, their ips their rights to their yeah i feel really bad for the guy who made chucky cause they went they just went and made that other chucky and he he wasn't he done. didn't even know right he didn't know and he wasn't done yeah. and now he's making a chucky series tv series oh my god yeah i remember i was like he didn't even know that's so that's so messed up like why would you do that and then i watched the new one and i did not like it i mean yeah i didn't like the new one either i was like okay this is for a new generation this is a not, new generation this is, this yeah. is not I was like, this for is not... us because chucky now is just like a he's like a sh he just shoots one-liners and he's so crass it's so mm -hmm. tries to be funny while he's killing and it's like okay yeah like he's constantly funny i mean i, I think... don't know I, I didn't i didn't like the remake of it either oh really let's talk about it go ahead well besides my like huge uh fear of clowns but no. <laughs> like... i don't know <laughs> and maybe that's just me with how i am with a lot of movies because i find myself being a big fan of just the originals and a lot of the remakes i see little differences and i'm just like i don't like that difference mm -hmm. and i see something else i'm like okay i didn't like that either but the only thing i can say that i did like with uh the it the remix of the it movies now is that they kind of did elaborate more on the story with the kids even though i like that's, i'm still biased with that because it's not supposed to be it's, it's about, supposed to be about him but about, I don't know about it. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Yeah, I can. They focused more on. Oh, someone's saying. Oh, Lily is saying it remakes are fired. They were just like the book. And I love the book. You had to cut out so much of the book though to make it fit those hours because that book is. Bad but see, then I don't know if that's just my bias because I'm. I'm like I have a big, 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 big fear of clowns. Oh yeah, like, you don't I, like clowns. I, yes, I, you do I, not I, like clowns. I don't yeah. mess with. I don't mess with them at all. So I'm just. So you. So you. Like, so you watched the remake and you just didn't like it, but not. But it's the same thing like with clowns. the original movie, because. It, but it's the same thing too with the original movie. Like I didn't like the original movie either, even though it was scary as fuck. But that's kind of why I don't like it. But I, yeah, that, the original ter Tim Curry, like, ugh, terrible. Oh my god, Tim terrible. Curry, yes. His teeth, I was like, no, oh my god, oh, I god. can't like. And then was... when he transformed into that giant spider, I know. Yeah, done. Yeah, I was like, what is happening um, in this TV movie? Yeah. Oh, have ever have any of you seen Terrifier? Yes. Yes. I have Ooh, seen Terrifier. No, I haven't. She would not have seen Terrifier because it's a clown. So Oh, yeah, that explains why. Yeah. <laughs> like, that explains art, why. Art. Like, honestly, when I first saw Terrifier, I what well, I didn't know what I was getting into. We just watched it and I was I, I didn't like it because I was like, is he like supernatural? Does he have powers? Like what the fuck is going oh, on God. here? He like what made me not like it originally was because he literally Tula, he literally sliced oh, God. a girl down the middle. Like had her like legs Ooh. open, sliced her down the middle, like from the from the hoo ha down. And I was just like <laughs> I, oh my god. No, I was like, wait a what? I had to stop the movie and just be like, I'm so disgusted. Like, what is happening right now? Wow. And he just kept like, he just kept making weird faces. He didn't talk, he's mute, but he just kept making weird faces. And I was like, what is, what is, what is happening? Who so he's a, he? he's a, like a silent clown? He's like yeah. muted the entire time? Yeah, he's, he's a silent clown, but he's just, he looks really disgusting. He's creepy. And then me and my husband looked him up and like, he was in like a short, where it was like no it was a horror movie anthology where he came from like a videotape it was a bunch of videotapes that these kids got for on halloween and the babysitter watched it 
and then he came out the video like he saw them he saw the girl watching oh. him and he was like knocking on the glass and he was like waving and he came out and killed her and i think that was what oh, him, no. i think that's what set him free and I'm like, okay, I was like, okay, so now I'm now I'm with it because now I understand what's happening. Then he got then they made you understand his, the story, they made yeah. his they made him his own movie that wasn't the one that, that wasn't terrifier. It was like his own movie. And he did more of the same stuff that he does in the, like the actual movie. And then I I see now why he's so popular because he's he's funny. He rem, he reminds me of Freddy. Like when I watch like when I watch oh, like okay. all the movies, I'm like, okay, he's the new Freddy. Cause like He's he's basically just a, like the new slasher villain, honestly. The slasher. He's pretty Plays funny. Plays a clown version. He's a clown, yeah. He he. I think oh he God. took someone's <laughs> boobs and he like put them on and he was like dancing. <laughs> yeah. He's like dancing and I'm like, why? What the oh fuck is gosh. going on here? Yeah, it was a to- it was a mess. But I'm waiting. And for- now we're talking about funny killers. To me, Freddy was like one of the original. Oh yeah. Like he was hilarious. Funny killers. Yeah, he was yeah. so funny. Mm-hmm. I don't lepre <laughs> because I just watched Nancy. it. Lepre- Leprechaun, he had some funny one-liners. Oh God, Leprechaun! Yeah, oh, God. a mess. But he was, he was a mess though. But he, yeah, Le- God, Leprechaun was a the trip. Leprechaun in the hood. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what is up with all these all the '90s um killers and '80s killers going to the hood. Like for real, what is going on? Oh my God. A mess, but because they, they know we're all about to fight back, that's why. <laughs> like I, I don't know, but those, but that movie is like called a horror comedy, so it makes sense. It makes yeah. Sense. Okay, so I want to thank you for being on the show today. Thank you so much for spending thank your you time to talk me. about Ferretti. If you want, can you please yeah. tell our audience where they can find you on social media? Yes, I'm very active, or I try to be active on Twitter, and it's. Chula the Sith Master, or no, I think it's just Chula Sith Master. Um, and then I also have, um, I'm live, I go live on Twitch. I don't have a consistent schedule, but I try to go live um, at least a couple times a week. And I'm not active I'm... on Instagram, but I also have Instagram. <laughs> Her and morning yeah. streams are lit. Morning streams like oh. get me up in the morning. I'm like, yeah, what are we playing today? They'll do. But yeah. Just chilling in the mornings, having our coffee. Yeah. Tea. Five and out. Yep. Thank you oh, so much no. for yeah. I can't have coffee anymore. I had coffee for like six months, and then my body was like, "Stop! You don't need it." Uh, yeah, oh. yeah. I'm sick, but <laughs> I want to thank you for being on the show. I want to thank everyone for coming to the show today. We had so much fun talking about Freddy. Next episode is I can't remember, but I will let you guys know when I know what it is because I'm trying to reach out to everybody. But this was fun. Give Chula a follow on everything because she's awesome. And if you want to sign up, you can apply at monsterthoughts.com and you tell me what monster you want to talk about. I never picked the monster. I have the guests pick the monster. So if there's a monster that you want to talk about or see talked about on the channel, you can absolutely just submit and we will work something out. Oh, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you guys next time.